Negative emotions for others can weigh us down and burden us as we move through life. We often collect anger for others in such a normalised sense that we are unable to see the deeper effects of this. Anger can present itself in so many ways, silently to outwardly, but always inwardly. Holding on to anger is like trying to burn another by setting yourself on fire. We hurt ourselves long before our antagonist feels the heat. Forgiveness in this sense I'm discussing is not an emotional debt you must pay for being unable to accept the moment when it arrived. It is also not accepting a victim mentality. It is easy to say that there is nothing to forgive because that's how we want it to be. When in fact, forgiveness is the acknowledgement of a very human thing. It is a type of acceptance in which another soul is involved. We cannot help the emotional ties and bonds we have when thoughts and feelings are present, but to be aware of them is certainly illuminating in itself. Forgiveness is an act of self-love. You deserve to be free of anger. You feel lighter afterwards, spiritually, mentally and physically lighter. Forgiveness is not negating their actions, nor justifying them. It is allowing the potential for growth for both you and them. You do not need to have overwhelming feelings of love and compassion. It is just coming to terms with the inherent humanity within you. Learning to forgive others can teach you to forgive yourself and vice versa. For a moment, take a look at the quality of the transience of life, the constant movement, the evolution of man and mind, our small place in the cosmos that we have found greatness in, the impermanence of that greatness and everything else, the sunsets you'll never see again, the sunsets you've yet to see. Take it to the big picture. One cannot be angry at the witnessing of this picture. Me, you and every one of us is a part of this beautiful life. Meditate on this for a few moments. See how you are connected to an all-pervading transient that has no form. Feel how, with intention, you can leave the insular consciousness of the self and exist in tandem with the flow. By holding on to anger, you are fighting against that very natural flowing entropy that the laws of the universe have laid out. By letting go, as anger is meant to be, you untie the stained shadow of a memory that was cast upon you and walk in the sunlight once more. Release the weight. Walk freely in a new knowledge that the anger did not need to exist. It was not required, nor useful. We pick so many things up on our journey here on Earth old t-shirts, a nice bedspread, a good book, but sometimes we pick up something that was only ever meant to be looked at and observed. Forgiveness is dissolving a negative energetic tie, freeing them but freeing you too. Their actions and intentions were not yours. We are often angry with others because they have not acted in the way that we would. We must remember that our journeys are all different and our roads have different bumps and hills. If you are conscious of an ill-intentioned action, think of the inherent value of the knowledge of that, the journey that you have taken in order to have the experience to identify it. So what if they are not you? Nobody is. You have a unique set of lessons and observations of your own that you have cultivated by moving through life. Remember this next time the familiar sense of anger arises. Observe the anger and illuminate the lesson. Forgiveness is a form of detachment. Part of that is detaching from the idea that anger will change the other person's mind. As highlighted, forgiveness is an act of self-love and self-care. It can take some time, as we are not the same person we were last week, or even yesterday. However, remembering the transience of life can bring us back to a state of letting go and renewal. Thank you for listening.